Hi, I'm Mark Gallants of St. Michael's Armory Audio Video Studio and Gallant Images. Welcome to the tutorials on 3D image creation. This will be a three-part series. This is part one, equipment. The remaining two will show equipment, setup, and capture techniques, and then editing the image to create anaglyphic and stereogram composite images for uh, your display and distribution. So let's get going. This first tool is a simple point-and-shoot digital camera. This particular one is a Kodak EasyShare Z1275. I picked this up many years ago and I still use it for simple stuff when I'm out on the go. It's a 12 megapixel. Any digital camera, including a phone, will do. Camera-wise, a simple camera is all you really need to do 3D left and right image capture. In the next tutorial, I'll demonstrate how to use a simple camera to do free hand stereo capture. This type of camera can also be used with a slide, and I'll show that a bit later in this session. There are several twin lens specialty cameras on the market. Just do a web search for 3D cameras. This one is a Fujifilm W3 3D twin lens that does a great job and I use it a lot when I'm not taking my main cameras out. This fits as easily in the pocket and it's also great for capturing action in 3D because it takes both the left and right at the same time with the same exposures. The lenses have a 60 millimeter separation which is very close to the separation in most human eyes. It can zoom and do macro as well. This is the back side of the camera. It shows a pretty realistic 3D image of what it's seeing. This is my main camera and favorite lens, a Sony A77 Mark II with the Sony 24-70 mm f2.8 lens. As I've said earlier, it's not so much the camera as what you do with it. This is just my favorite rig. I'll not go into the operation of many particular cameras. Knowing your equipment is your responsibility. And there are all kinds of tutorials on all kinds of cameras out on the internet. There are two specialty lenses I obtained from the 3D Supply Company that I use, 3dstereo.com. I am sure there are others out there. It's just the one that I like and I'm a loyal customer. These lenses are produced by L'Oreal. The small macro lens is 3D macro lens in a cap. The other is 3D 9005. These are A mounts to work with my Sony. Other mount styles are available. They are split image lenses, so both the left and the right image reside on the camera sensor. Neither of these lenses communicate with the camera's electronics for focus or exposure. They do have focus distance and aperture settings. I control the exposures with the shutter speed and the ISO on the camera. I'll show processing these types of images in tutorial 3. These lenses are good for capturing any moving subject like the twin lens camera. Moving on to some of the equipment. This is a slide. A slide allows the camera to move from left to the right camera's perspectives on the same subject by some determined distance. The result is two separate images that need to be composited. I'll discuss compositing for both anaglyphic and stereogram in tutorial 3. This is a Manfrotto 454 slide that allows for left to right separation from 0 to 120 millimeters with a very fine control. There are several slides on the market and tutorials on making your own. I'm sure you can find them on the web. Obviously, needed and not shown is a tripod to mount this on. Hey, on to the other fun stuff. Here is a collection of viewers for you to see your 3D images as 3D. First up, I have three stereogram viewers. The first is a small cardboard viewer 
easy to mail and folds up and is from L'Oreal. It works best on small images up to 7 inch total composite width. I use these for viewing images on my cell phone or 4x6 prints. The next one in size is the Pokescope. I use this for viewing and editing on my laptop. The large one is an adjustable mirror type. My main computer monitor is 30 inches. This does a great job for viewing and editing on the large format or TV projections. All three are available at 3dstereo.com and I'm sure elsewhere on the internet. The last two are Red Cyan Lens Glasses. They are used to view anaglyphic processed composite images. I'll talk about how to do anaglyphic processing in tutorial number three. The large wraparound pair I use for editing and viewing on my computer. The paper ones are inexpensive enough just to give away to friends, relatives, or clients. They are the old time glasses we used to get at the movies. My cousin and I used to go downtown to watch Ma and Pa Kettle movies in black and white in 3D. So, the minimum equipment you need are a camera and at least one of the viewers. You will also need an image editor that will do some compositing with filtering capabilities to create the red and cyan images and or change canvas size to accommodate the side-by-side -side images for stereogram. I will be demonstrating the processing in tutorial 3 using Photoshop. Other editors will do what is needed, I just find Photoshop fast and easy for this work. The next tutorial in the series is a demonstration on using the tools to capture the source images, 3D photography image capture. This is followed by 3D photography processing 3D composite images. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel at St. Michael's Armory Audio Video Studio. Please use caution. There is another St. Michael's Armory out there that I have no affiliation to. See you in the next tutorial.